Hey guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. So we got another unbox. And obviously you guys can tell what it is. Now I went to GameStop yesterday. During the entire uh, holiday, I guess you can say, President's Day weekend. They are doing 20% off on, I believe it's select figures, statues, and uh, prop collectibles. So this bad boy... That usually is retailing for, I believe, was seventy nine ninety nine. Mm, yeah, seventy nine ninety nine. You guys can see that right there. Um, he was down uh, after tax. I paid six sixty nine. So I mean, that's a good ten bones right off of it. I figured, what the hell? I mean, it's a Ranger helmet. I don't have a full scale Ranger helmet. Honestly, I'm not anticipating this to actually fit me. But it's going to be one hell of a display piece. As you guys can see, the dimension is getting reorganized. I'm probably, you guys can see in the back corner behind me, I have my whole ranger section. I might rotate that over to the other side here. Um, I'm undecided on that. So we're going to get into this. Now, there's been mixed reviews in regards to this uh, helmet. I mean, I've watched a lot of uh, videos myself. Um, and it's kind of hard because you can't, it's not exactly as if you can try it on, especially with everything going on this past year, right guys? So it's not like you can try in store, hey, let me try this on, does this fit or not? Yeah, I'm going to take it. No, that's not going to happen. Um, but at the very least, this is going to be a very cool display. I know some people talked about uh, vents and trying to do some mods or replacing the lens because maybe you can kind of see a person's eyes. I mean... You know it is what it is so let's go over the art you got the little lightning collection branding right here lightning collection art we got a uh, still image obviously a studio image of the helmet itself power rangers lightning collection the other side again another representation of the helmet on the back we get our legal jargon all of our details and i'll read right that off Okay, it says premium role play helmets. I don't know how premium it is. I mean, I've seen some pretty badass ones uh, at a couple cons I've been to and also online. You get those custom ones for a couple hundred or even a thousand. That's what I would classify as premium. But we will see. I understand that there's magnetic connectors inside that. There's not an actual latch. Honestly, I think if it was, a, if it was an actual latch, that would be better. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, adjustable fit. Display stand for support. And then, of course, we have our little bio of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. A natural leader who inspires bra uh, bravery and loyalty in his friends, Jason Lee Scott, becomes the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger and leads his team against the forces of evil. That's what it says. And then you see it reiterated in multiple languages here. We get the Hasbro um, branding here, made in Vietnam, copyright 2020. So, there we are. Also on this side, we got a little, little, little bit of his emblem right there, his power coin insignia. Now, I have quite a bit of the Lightning Collection. I do have the uh, Red Ranger. I have, well, I got multiple Red Rangers, but I do have Mighty Morphin Red. I have, um, I don't have as many helmets. I have the Legacy Morpher for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for both the regular Rangers and also the White and Green Ranger. I also have the uh, Lightning Collection Morpher. Lightning Collection Morpher is pretty good. I like the additional effects, especially that it makes the definition it determines between the various coins so you hear different uh different rangers calling out their powers to morph so there is that so we're going to get right on into this guys i mean there's not a whole lot that's going to be a surprise i mean if you're watching this video you've probably seen a few others or you've had friends who gave you their opinions on the helmet itself let's tilt the camera down so you guys can see so here we are Nice little, sorry about that guys, nice little cardboard, keeping the helmet in place. 
here we are. We're going to pull the helmet off. Set it down. You get your your basic uh, Hasbro legal speak. Multiple languages. I imagine this is probably where the stand is kept. Again, guys, I apologize. I did not silence my computer. There we go. So, there we are. That's it. That's the cardboard. Now, you guys know I am not an... I am what's called an out-of-box collector. I don't keep everything in the box. I will not be getting rid of the box. I'm going to keep the box, at least for now. Until, uh, you know, heaven forbid I actually decide to uh, put it away, store it, or maybe even resell it at a later date. I want to keep that box for those purposes. Um, I really don't do that for a lot of my stuff. So, I'm just going to start right into this. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Well, the fact that everything is still sealed tells me that this is not a resell. It was never a return. Now, here's the base. They yeah, have a nice little Mighty Morphin decal here. Some, you know, some detail on the molded plastic. This is a nice, uh, very, very nice gloss finish. Now, as far as this, I mean, I get it. You're kind of generalizing for the helmets. I would have liked um, maybe the emblem for the Red Ranger. Maybe even include uh, a, a little plastic... Uh, representation of the power coin either for the uh tyrannosaurus rex or maybe representation for the uh ninja powers so that would that would have been pretty cool but uh you know it's pretty solid i mean it's basic molded plastic you know if you're skilled with paints you may want to try some paint applications here um i could see Covering, you know, taking some tape, trying to cover up the uh, plastic here. Maybe giving this a once over with red. Maybe a more of a metallic red or gloss red. Uh, maybe do some gold accents on certain parts of the stand itself. Do a little paint mod, as it were, uh, to give it a little, a little extra pop. Make that red pop a little more. That's just a thought. It's a thing you could do. Um, am I going to do that? Probably not, because I really don't have the resources to do that. When I say the resources, I'm referring to, um, well, quite frankly, um, I don't have, it's winter time right now, so I really can't do painting. Um, so th there's that. And plus, I really wish I had an uh, airbrushing kit, so I could do... Just I can do the proper painting because really when I when I paint I'm doing spray paint guys. I could see uh, this right here, taping that up. Maybe doing some gold accents or silver accents right there. Um, these little side tubes. I mean, there's a lot you can do painting wise to make it pop more. Um, you know, give it give it some of the colors that were represented on the uh, Zord, on the T-Rex Zord. The Tyrannosaurus Rex sword. That's just a thought I have here. Now we have these, and of course this, which is going to make up how the how the helmet will sit. So I just have to. There is a little groove here, and that's where this will slide perfectly on. So you kind of have to align it. There we go. Now, if you're planning to keep this together and not ever disassemble it, I mean, you could take a little bit of some, maybe some plumber's putting, smooth it out to kind of fill in that gap so it looks like one solid piece. Okay, that's just a thought. Um, again, there's another groove right here, and that will go into the base right there. Okay, so we're just going to... Kind of have to rotate it until it fits. There we go. Now, 
what they did here was this is very reminiscent of what we would see as far as this centerpiece here that's very reminiscent of what we might see inside the morpher so that would have been kind of cool if they could uh maybe like i said a removable coin of some kind but it is what it is and that's what it is guys okay now again we have that little groove you can see right there so that tells you how does this line up we have the little piece right there and there we go so now we have our stands okay now I have seen some videos where people had trouble with the helmet sitting perfectly on the stand. I'm going to set the stand down and now we're going to jump into the helmet guys. Now I'm a, I'm a big guy. You guys know this. I never hid that from anyone. <laughs> so we'll see if this fits me or not. Like I said, if not, I still have one hell of a display piece. A nice little foam flap covering the mouth okay so we have some faux looking some fake flaps they don't do anything because like I said they have like little little magnets right here and they're using a screw and looks like a metal piece that's screwed into here okay now, moment of truth, I guess. I'm going to try and loosen this up as much as possible. Because like I said, I have a big head. Now for the inside, in case you're curious, there is a headpiece. Very, it's very, it's adjustable like a uh, construction helmet kind of is. We have some nice little designs right there. I don't know what that kind of try, uh, that Y shape I mean, when I look at that, I think the flux capacitor. So I really don't know what that's a representation of, if anything. Now, the headpiece itself is, it's a bit of a rocker. So it does move and rotate. So Now, as you can see, my chin kind of sticks out, at least for now. Um, it's just a shade little, if it was just a little bit bigger in the front section, you know, there, there would be a decent fit. Now, my ears were a little snug, but that could be because of this part right here. Now, I have seen that some people have removed this completely from here, which is doable. So that might alter how the fit goes. I'm going to try and put it back on. But before we do that, I want to do this. I want to close this back up. Give you guys a full look. Now, as you can see, it is a bit translucent. You can see me straight through the, through the other side of the lens right here. Okay. So it is a little translucent. That's what a lot of people have been complaining about. Um, you could get a... Um, like a cellophane tint and maybe apply that to the inside that's probably something you can do now the lines they did a great job with the lines here as far as the texture I shouldn't say texture but the outlines for the helmet they really did go good there are no vents here so I know some people have actually experimented with Taking a fine drill, making a few vent holes so it's easier to breathe.
Now, unfortunately, my ears are kind of big, so they're kind of causing a little bit of an issue. I'm going to try, I have this now, this adjustable hand headband part pushed all the way out now. So we're going to try this once more. It looks like this is somehow adjustable too. Now I can obviously get this on, but my ears are, because I have good sized ears, I think it's because of the width of my head. Um, it makes it a little snug trying to put the helmet on to get it closed all the way. Um, now, that could be because of this right here. Now if I were to take that out, it might just fit uh, a little bit better. Because you can obviously, inside this takes up a good deal. So, um, if you're a bigger guy, um, this may not be a helmet you want to try to cosplay with. Um, it's just because of the, I have a pretty, you know, long face. Um, now if I, you know, if I lost a little bit of this, might it look a little better? I mean, that's a possibility. I'm still in the process of losing weight myself. Um, if you want to goof around... It is something you can do. Now obviously you guys can see my face pretty much right through there. So. I mean. For about 65 before tax. It's. This is. This is. I'm more than happy with it. So. Let's see. You guys can see right there. It's it's uh pretty level. Now, before you put it on the stand, you may want to sorry guys. Before you put it on the stand, you may want to this head swivel right here. You want this to be centered, okay? Because that's where it's going to sit best on here. So there we are, Red Ranger Lightning Helmet. Um, like I said, I may experiment with removing the head part to see if it fits better. Also on the back, there's this little, like you know, sometimes you have a little plastic thing. I think that's where the piece was broken off to, like they do the mold of the back piece and then plucked it off right there. I don't see anything like that on the front of the helmet. Um, also, I don't know how well you can tell, but this will get fingerprint smudges on there. So you're probably going to want to have some wipes to clean it off every now and again. Now also the black indentation, the little black outline, does not carry over. You can see some of the molding right here. The line does not carry over. Um, that's just something small that they could have had someone just kind of run the line over with just to add a little bit more consistency. Um, but like I said, you, it will pick up on smudges. Yeah. yeah, there are smudges here. I mean, you can get a cheap bag of microfiber cloths from like uh, Harbor Freight or any hardware place. I do have a scratch on this one, but 
it's not all that noticeable. Plus, any kind of scratches or imperfections if you're using this for cosplay, if this fits you perfect for cosplay, any scratches you can, you know, chalk up to battling Rita's buddies or uh, Goldar. So, but there we are. We have the Ranger helmet. Um, now, me being an asthmatic, it was not very great to breathe because there's no mouth slit, there's no vent holes for breathing, so that was a bit annoying. Um, now, in case you're wondering, you can remove the lens here. These are just screws that hold the lens, the visor lens in. Okay, this part. So you can remove those. So in case you wanted to do, like I said, uh, like take a cellophane and apply that uh, onto the lens, because obviously it would be easier to take this lens out and do that. Or if you know someone who's good with uh, plastics or glass, uh, they might be able to get their hands on some proper tint to apply onto maybe a curved piece of plexiglass. Now the only venting in here is right here, guys. You can see the tabs where the screws into creates a little bit of a gap hole. So there is some air, but that's not much, guys. You want to be able to breathe comfortably, especially if you're going to be rocking this all day long. Now, the hinge itself, you can actually disassemble this. So there are screws all around here, so you can take this apart if you really want to. Okay? So that is a thing you can do. It is a thing you could do. So, all in all, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I mean, especially since I got it on sale. Usually this is $80 plus tax, and I got it for $69, so that's a win-win. Um, I would have got the White Ranger, but they didn't have the White Ranger. They only had the uh, Red Ranger. I may go out today at a few game stops and see if I can find the White, the White Ranger helmet. That would be really great. Now, I went on GameStop's website, and they said that there were no helmets in my area whatsoever I found this one so it is what it is guys but if you had the chance their sale goes from the 13th until the 15th which is Monday so if you had the chance get out there today or even tomorrow if you can and this sale is going both on in-store and online online you get the price there's no additional discounts but in-store they're doing it where if you buy a uh, like a shopping bag through them five dollars for the shopping bag anything any kind of collectibles figures or anything you're getting is going to be 20 percent off that so for five dollars it works out um so let me put my helmet back down so look definitely looks like i'm going to be reorganizing my ranger section it's right in the corner there but i'm thinking i might rotate it over to the new shelves um just because i mean I don't want to put a ranger helmet all the way off to the, I guess, all over to this side when I have my ranger stuff right here. So we'll see what I do with it. Um, just trying to make some more room. Uh, one for obviously my packs. Um, in the next maybe two months, I'm planning to start doing some more um, upgrades or mods. I'm planning to do some upgrades with the flux pack, and I'm also going to be doing. Uh, my version of a mod for a ghost trap uh, the walmart ghost traps good for ghostbusters so that should be something cool um i am also seriously i am seriously considering taking my not my lightning but my legacy mighty Morphin power ranger coins or power ranger uh morpher and modifying that into a master morpher that's an idea i may look at uh ebay and see if i can get maybe one that's slightly damaged or scuffed up a little bit lower price and do that i really want to do a master morpher mainly because i got my hands on starlight studios power coins that they sell they fit into the legacy morphers and i really want to do a master morpher now so we'll see so there we are the red ranger lightning collection helmets um now I am a very big guy, so it's a little, little bit hard. I mean, my ears my ears were the issue putting this on. But also, if it was just a tad bit bigger, guys. And 
And I don't know how I sounded with the helmet on. Let's do a test. How do I sound? How do I look, guys? But I can finally say I have a Ranger's a Ranger helmet now. I really wish they would come out with green. Just saying, Hasbro, Green Ranger would rock. Yeah, I do have a little bit of a Green Ranger problem. Yeah. So there we are, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Lightning Collection or Red uh, Power Ranger. Red Ranger Lightning Collection Helmet. Um, I'm tempted to get the White Ranger if I can f possibly find it somewhere. A friend of mine in Arizona uh, did say that he saw one at one of his Game Stops. I'm tempted to reach out to him and see how much it would cost to ship it to me. Um, but I'm hoping maybe I'll look out today. We'll see what happens. Now, um, with this, I may consider I might look into possible modifications but if i do mods then this is not going to be i'm not going to be considering to sell this in the future because any kind of modifications would then of course cause differences in price points now the color of the helmet is pretty on par now there is a number of 01351 i don't know if that's the number of how many were made or if that's just a model number that they use for keeping track of these but all in all, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm almost tempted to see if I can do some paint mods to maybe give this more of a realistic look. Um, but again, if you're going to wear this, obviously this is not going to work for me. Um, but still, it is a great application. Um, now, they have some kind of rivets or metal pins holding the face on here. Because otherwise, I would almost think I'm almost tempted to really take this off, the face off, the mouth, and give it more of a chrome look. I mean, that's just me. But I mean, all in all, they did a really great job with the paint here, guys. I mean, this looks tremendous. So, there we are, guys. Um, it's nice for a beginning cosplayer. Um, I definitely think this is on par with their Morpher. Um, if you compare the Legacy Morpher to the Lightning Morpher, you have major differences, but obviously the one, the Lightning Morpher is much lighter. It has a few more, uh, a few more abilities, a few more uh, features, but it's much lighter, and you're not going to be crying spilled milk if something happens to it, if it gets damaged or destroyed or lost or whatever. And definitely these helmets are on par with the price point and the quality. You know, it's awesome. It's not perfect, but it is awesome and you're getting a good price. Uh, you're getting good value for that uh, item. Now, I didn't, I never had my hands on a Legacy helmet. I do know uh, one or two people who did. Uh, they actually, one person I knew, uh, unloaded his Legacy helmet and jumped on this one. Now, he's a much more fit person, so obviously it looks better on him. But at least now I can say I have a Ranger helmet. So there we are. Just a quick little unbox review. Now, guys, if you got this helmet, drop in the comment section below what your thoughts were about this helmet. How does it fit? Have you done any modifications? Have you done some paint applications? Have you made some breathing hole? Uh, have you done anything for the visor? You know, have you made the visor a little bit darker or have you done something or, you know, are you just keeping it as a display? Drop it in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you have some criticisms or some praises, drop it in the comment section below as always. And of course, you guys can always reach out to me directly at davesdimension78 at gmail.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked the video... Please, please consider following us. Give us a subscribe. Trying to expand the channel as best as we could. Because obviously the more people we get following, the more bigger and better things we can do. This is the channel where chaos and insanity reign supreme. So until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.